This is episode 81 of the After Gambling Podcast. And in this episode, we're going to talk about taking hard things, making them a little bit more enjoyable. Hey there, and welcome to another edition of the After Gambling Podcast. My name is Jamie. I'm a former problem gambler. Now I haven't gambled in over 10 and a half years and do this little podcast, hopefully to help other people get started on their path towards living kind of a freer, healthier, happier life. Now, before we jump into today's episode, I wanted to say that if you'd like to support kind of the work that I'm doing, as you know, I kind of do this podcast, I do some other stuff and have some other ideas for some some gambling harm reduction projects in the future. If you'd like to support this and those other projects, you can go to aftergambling.com forward slash support. And there's some ways that you can support the show. So I have some some links to some of the books uh, on Amazon and get a little small little cut of those. Um, if you were to order one of those books or you can make a financial contribution to the show. Um, if you can and you're interested, that would be awesome. Um, but otherwise, I just really appreciate you being here. Um, it's just really cool. Obviously, I do this because I want to help people. And that's ultimately one of my goal is with all these projects. And so the support is just one way that I can kind of continue to do some of those things. Now, this morning, I tweeted out a picture of Mary Poppins. And Mary Poppins is one of those people that uh, kind of whenever I'm thinking about taking a difficult thing and making it easy, the phrase uh, kind of the spoonful of sugar really comes to mind. So I tweeted out that picture this morning as just one of those reminders, along with kind of her catchphrase from the movie. And this is something, again, I'm going to keep coming back to this book because it's having such an influence on me right now, which is Carol Dweck's mindset. And ultimately, it really comes down to how we look at the task in our lives and really how we process them and how we view them. And she talked about some of the studies that they've done with kids where they give them challenging puzzles. And the kids that have a growth mindset, when they finish one of the puzzles and they say, hey, do you want another harder puzzle? The kids are like, yeah, give me that puzzle. And the kids, because they really enjoy the challenge, they take this thing that's really difficult and they enjoy the challenge. And a lot of times they talk about, I mean, with the growth mindset, it's the kids that are often told, hey, uh, it's really cool. You have an appetite for challenging things. You really, you really like to go after these challenging things. And so they tell these kids these stories, which then lead to the growth mindset versus telling kids, hey, you're really good at these puzzles. And what they've done, and they've done studies, and they say, okay, if we tell these kids, you're really good at these puzzles, all of a sudden now the kids, if they complete one, and they ask, hey, do you want to do a harder one? The kids stop, and they say, no, no, I'm good. I, I'm, I'm sick of them. I'm bored with them. And what they, they've kind of concluded from this research is that the kids that are told, hey, you're really good at these projects or these puzzles, all of a sudden that becomes their identity, and then they fear failing in the future. And so it, when they come into one and if it's harder and they aren't able to do it, all of a sudden now they have some negative connotations to it and they fear losing their identity by not being able to complete the puzzle. Whereas the kids that are told, hey, you really you really love the challenge, don't you? Those kids just eat it up and they're like, yeah. And so when a new challenge comes, they're like, hey, bring it to me because I'm the type of person that loves a challenge. And it's all a mindset shift and it's kind of how they prompt these kids and when I start thinking about it, I mean, we do these things in our lives and we try to avoid tough things or we dive into tough things based on the story that's in our head. And I know personally for me, the gambling became a problem and it, there's kind of two sides of this. It's a little bit of both sides, but I was trying to avoid stuff that was difficult. Accounting, college accounting work. I was most of the way through my degree. I was into some really tough classes at the time. And I didn't want to do them at the time. I'm just like, screw this stuff. And so when I saw poker as a way to avoid those things, all of a sudden I kind of checked out of one thing and went into something else. And poker was very much, especially at the beginning, it was exciting. I enjoyed the challenge. I didn't think of myself as a good poker player. I thought of myself as somebody that loved a challenge and that I, I challenged myself to get better and better, kind of like I had done with golf and so many other things in life. And so there was that enjoyment early on in trying to to learn the game and develop skills. Now, obviously, that crossed over. And in fact, I mean, it kind of goes back to the concept that the moment we think gambling could do something for us is when we get into trouble. And for me, it was. The moment that I thought I was good and I thought I could win, 
And I thought that that was something I could do sustainably. All of a sudden it went downhill. And so it was probably a mix of the mindset as well as other things um, that led to me getting myself into trouble with the gambling. And so I bring this up because I think it's important to, to make sure that we're looking at things. We're going to have these challenging things. I mean, if you're listening to this, you're going to have challenges in your life. I mean, if you're listening to anything, you're going to have challenges in your life, right? Like we don't get out without struggles. That's very much a Mark Manson. I mean, you don't hope for a life with no struggles. You hope for a life with good problems. And so it's important that we frame these in the right way. And the one thing I have written on my whiteboard as I'm looking right now, and it says, look for hard things, then try to make them fun and easy. And that's kind of my constant reminder to myself right now is not to shy away from the things that are difficult. Because in the past, I have done that. It's like, well, I don't know if I want to get into that because it's challenging. I might fail. It may say something about me. And that was very much kind of the limited mindset. I mean, it wasn't a growth mindset. It was a fixed mindset. And I've, I've seen that as one of the traits um, in my life. That's why I tend to like the, the early part of projects, right? Where it's kind of all fresh and new and there's growth and change. But once things start to slow down a little bit and, and you get to the more complicated parts of it, I tend to check out and go to other things. And that's something I need to con- continuously work on. And so one of the ways I'm doing that is just focusing on making it fun and enjoyable, trying to find the fun in the challenge, soaking it up, going, taking on that kid's appetite for the puzzles and say, yeah, bring me another puzzle. Yeah, it's probably going to be hard. I'm probably going to mess it up a bunch of times, but I have the appetite for it. And I think this plays in with recovery because a lot of times we're going through these times and it gets hard and it's like, man, this sucks. And you see it. I mean, I see people post on Reddit and I've, I felt that I've said these things myself in, in group meetings where it's like, man, I'm just struggling. Like I feel beat down. Like, is it, is all this work really worth it? And, and those are the times that we really have to catch ourselves and reframe the situation. And I think the more that we can kind of look at it is, yeah, we know it's going to be tough. And it's going to be fun and challenging. Look at this. I mean, we get this opportunity. We get the opportunity to go work on this. In the past, we would just kind of check out and, and we were limiting ourselves. But now we get the opportunity to grow. And so switching that mindset, taking these really difficult things, looking for the fun in them, making them fun if you have to. I mean, putting on music. And this is where some of those other things in our lives can really influence us. I know when I'm struggling with a task, sometimes I'll, I'll just turn on some good music that I like and just start dancing around on my desk like an idiot. Fortunately, I work from home and nobody sees me. Hopefully there's no recordings here. Um, but that, that allows me to kind of get into a better state of mind where now, okay, now, Hey, relax a little bit, have some fun, loosen up. Like it doesn't have to be all serious and, and, and difficult all the time. It can be challenging, but it doesn't have to be difficult. And so what I'm hoping for you is that you start to listen to this. And as you're going through your day, whenever things start to feel like you want to check out, right? Cause like you want to check over to the gambling. Um, that's ultimately, those were always my triggers. So I'm guessing those are some of your triggers as well. When difficult things pop up, difficult tasks at work, difficult relationships, difficult conversations. Those are the moments we want to check out. And if we said, just, Hey, look, the beauty of this, Hey, have fun with it. It's a whole lot better to go into that conversation, have some fun with it, loosen up. It'll probably go a whole lot better because ultimately like, what do you have to lose? Um, right. I mean, we know how bad things turn out when we try to avoid things. So it can only be upside when we go in and we try, even if we go have that conversation and we struggle with it and it goes terribly, we're going to get feedback. It's why I love the line, the universe rewards action. It's true. The universe rewards action. When we take action, we get feedback from other people or from the universe that tells us if we're on the right path. Did we do a good job or a bad job? And as long as we separate and we don't kind of beat ourselves up and let that define us, the result define us. Hey, we just didn't know that time. We messed up that time. We're going to learn from it, grow and come back. And when we take, like I said, that, that approach where things are complicated, they're complex, but we take on the attitude that we love tough problems and we're going to take the toughest problems, give us the toughest problems. We're going to make them fun and enjoyable along the way. And it's something I know for sure I haven't done a great job of, but it's something I can work on. 
and improve and make things just a hell of a lot more enjoyable for how many ever years ahead. Um, because I will be able to hopefully use this approach, not only with my recovery from gambling, but also just in life. This is kind of a, a great life thought, all courtesy of my girl, Mary Poppins. And you know what? I may have to bring out some more Disney references. I think that's something I'm going to start trying to adopt here in the future with the podcast. So hopefully you're a Disney fan because there's so many great lessons in the Disney, Disney songs. Obviously with my kids, they're real into all the Disney stuff. And so we hear the Disney songs playing quite a bit or the movies are playing and they really are as cheesy as it sounds. There's a lot of really good insight and just a lot of kind of life knowledge that comes out of those movies. So maybe I'll dig into some of those other ones and, uh, we'll have some fun incorporating Disney, little Disney nuggets, Disney Easter eggs into some of the shows. So as you go about your next week or two, I want you to kind of look for those hard things, seek them out and go into them and say, no, no, no. I'm the type of person that loves a challenge. I like it. I want it to be hard. I expect it to be hard because when it is, that means, and that's the other thing, like when things are hard, that means there's a reward on the other side. All the easy stuff everybody can do, which means it's not that valuable. It doesn't mean as much as getting through the hard stuff. And it's one of those things that we just have to start. And I'll kind of leave you with one of the last kind of tips that I've picked up recently on how to start with the really hard problems is just commit to five minutes. It's called the five minute rule. It just means, okay, for five minutes, I'm going to attack this really difficult thing that I've thought is difficult. Now we're going to say, well, it's just challenging. It's not difficult. It's just going to be challenging. I'm going to tackle this challenging things for five minutes. And then once five minutes is up, I can stop, make that commitment to yourself. And the reality is once we get started five minutes in, we'll either one finish it because I don't know about you, but countless times um, I dread doing things. And then it takes me all of about 95 seconds to complete them. And I'm like, why did you put that off for so long? But then the other thing is, and that's with the five minute rule, we may go five minutes or 10 minutes in and you're like, well, now I'm kind of in the groove. Now I just want to finish it. And so you stick with the task and finish it right then and there. And there's such a reward and great kind of boost. Uh, definitely probably a dopamine hit that we get when we finish tasks. So especially the harder they are, um, the more challenging they are, the better they feel when we complete them. So take this strategy, start applying it to your day-to-day -day life, apply it to your day-to-day -day gambling recovery, and just try to have some fun with stuff. I mean, seriously, just smile, enjoy it, um, and just kind of see what happens. If it's not your normal and if you don't like it in a few weeks, go back to doing whatever. I mean, be, be upset like I've been at times, but I think that we all will benefit from just smiling a little bit, taking on these things as challenging but viewing them through the light of, hey, we love a challenge. Bring on a challenge and let's flip that mindset because I think that's ultimately gonna help us all. I'm gonna be working on it. So if you see me kind of getting to be a little grouchy, you can call me out on it. Say, Jamie, remember Mary Poppins? And that'll kind of snap me back into it and, and we'll kind of move forward from there. Again, progress, not perfection. Just keep moving forward. Smile with it, have fun with it. I'm having a lot of fun with these podcasts. Um, hopefully you can hear it come through in my voice. I feel like I have a little bit more energy. There's times in the past where I've just been like, ah, I feel like I need to do something and I have some things on my mind, but I wasn't necessarily as inspired or light and kind of in a, in a great place to do some of them as I was working through some thoughts. So it really works. This mindset stuff, it's some funky stuff. It's, it's voodoo stuff, but it works just seriously. We can just flip our minds. It's amazing how the human brain works. Um, and that's why it speaks to the power of there. really anything's possible. We just want to have to kind of tell ourselves um, that it can be done and give ourselves the opportunity. So take this idea, run with it, adopt it, and let me know how it works out. And until the next time, remember, I am not a doctor, I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a therapist, I'm not a financial planner. All the things that would make mom and dad proud, right? No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I am a marketer. So please use this for informational purposes only. Go get professional help. Um, they can work with you in your specific situation. I always say that, but it's so true. They're going to help you create a custom plan that's specific for you. 
and, and that's really what you deserve. So work with some professionals. And then finally, music for the show is something elated by Broke for Free and is licensed under the Creative Commons license. I'm Jamie, and I will see you in the next episode.